Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this graphics video tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do something real simple. It's rigging up a clock in After Effects. Again, it's super simple, but if you're new to After Effects, then this might be something that uh, you may not know how to do. And there's a couple um, slightly more advanced techniques in here that, uh, that you might get some value out of. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So starting off in Illustrator, and I just created these uh, here. Um, I have a second hand, a uh, minute hand, and an hour hand, uh, as well as a clock outline. So um, I made these in Illustrator. You could use um, PNG files, you could use any, any files you want. Uh, but uh, now let's jump in After Effects here. Uh, I do have some things in here from a separate uh, position, but I'm just gonna be dragging in these items into After Effects. So you just drag it right into the project pane, Illustrator files, it's regular, saved as an Illustrator file. You'll get this pop-up, make sure this is import kind composition, you don't want footage. Footage will smash all the layers together, composition will let you break them up, which is what I'll need to do. So I have the clock arms, and moving the body, clock body over, we will get the same prompt eventually. Uh, composition, so now we can go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna open up the clock arms and you can't see them because they're black on black, but uh, there they are. And working with Illustrator layers in After Effects can be a little slow and you really don't have as much control as if they're shape layers. So I'm just gonna select them all, right click and go to create shapes from vector layers. And then I'm just gonna highlight all of them and use the search tool and just search outlines. And that will just make it so only these outlines are, are here and I'm just gonna select them, Control C, come to my composition, and Control V. Now again, making the background transparent, you can see that uh, just the outline layers are here, and I will rename them to second, uh, minute, like it spell, and then hour. Um, but now I need to go ahead and get the clock body. So I'm just gonna double click the clock body composition from the project pane. And you'll see here that I have the clock body. This was an extra layer here that I'm just gonna delete. Um, this one, I think I'm gonna leave. Uh, the only thing that I will do is I'm gonna change the background into a shape layer. Right click, uh, create shapes from vector layer. And then I could just go ahead and delete that background. I don't need it anymore. So selecting these, I'm gonna hit Control C come back to my composition, control V. So now all of my shapes are here in After Effects, so I could start renaming them. So this is the the uh, clock background. Um, these are the clock uh, hour. And this would be the clock minute. And so now what I could do is Selecting these three layers, um, which would be the whole outline, I'm just gonna use the align tool to align it into the center, which didn't work. So I'm just going to move it. Um, but first I'm actually gonna just create a background for this. Layer new solid. And uh, white is probably good, and I'm just gonna drag it to the bottom and lock it so I don't accidentally grab it. But what this will do is it will give me a really nice reference point to make sure that it's all aligned in the center. So since these are uh, the background of the clock, I'm just gonna drag them beneath the minute and second hands. So now what I can do here is I can center up the uh, the anchor points. If you don't have this um, plugin from mountmograph.com, you can just press Y on the keyboard and move them, which is what I'm going to do um, because I actually want them down here in the base. And in my Illustrator file, I have a, a circle and two triangles, so that's why um, I'm easily able to put the anchor point into the center. Um, if yours are not shape layers from Illustrator, you may not have that option. So basically, I'm just selecting these and just moving the anchor points into the center, and then I'm just gonna center them up right into the center. So once they're all centered, which they are, I'm gonna create two guide layers. Um, well, actually, they're just null layers. Um, layer new null, and then I'm just gonna hit Control D to duplicate that, and I'm gonna rename them to clock background, and then 
timer. So I'm just going to rearrange these layers and I'm going to um, assign all of these, um, these arms to the timer and then the background to the clock background. So what this basically allows me to do is I could hit S on the keyboard on the clock background and just scale it up and it will scale them all up uh, the same. So basically I'm just going to scale it up to about there. That looks about right. And uh, for the arms, I think the arms are good. But what I'm going to do here is, is open these up and hit R on the keyboard. So these are the rotational um, properties of the, of the different arms. So um, I guess what I could do is I could add some coloration first. So I'm just going to pull the um, second hand to the very top because I want that one to be the most prominent. And I'm just going to change the color to like a, a red color. And I think the other two arms are fine. Um, but for the outline here, I'm going to take the minute uh, ticks and go layer or effect, generate fill and change their color to, to a gray. Maybe that's too light of a gray. Just increase that a tad. Um, now what I could do actually, um, because these are illustrator layers, I can make sure they're continuously rasterized. That way when I zoom them up, they do not lose any resolution. So here we are having, the exp having uh, these all open. If you just select them and hit R on the keyboard, that's how you get there. And you hold Alt and you select these uh, stopwatches. So what those stopwatches will do, holding Alt, will give you this expression pane where you do a lot of cool stuff. But in this one, we're just going to be doing something very simple. So the second hand, um, each of these would be a second. Um, we could just drag these pick whips to the rotation of the null timer. So what this will do is it will mean this rotation on this uh, timer will dictate uh, the rotation of the arms. Now, obviously, since they're all attached just regularly, there's no real difference. But what you can do is, so let's say for the minute hand, you could say one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So I could divide this by 60. And one hour is 3,600 seconds. So I could divide by 3,600, right? 60 times 60. And now you have a, sis a system in place where you could say one rotation, one rotation on here will equal one minute. So, so you'll see that it's that it sets up just perfectly. And obviously you can make this timed, you know, to real time. But obviously that would be, uh, you know, it would take forever for this clock to work. But what's cool here is that coming to 10 seconds, I can increase this to, let's say, um, 30, and that will be 30 minutes, or 60, which would be an hour. And you can actually see this play out just like in a clock would. Now, obviously, it's happening extremely fast, and you are losing a lot of information here, but uh, that's just a very quick way to create a clock in After Effects. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, um, check out the channel uh, weekly for more videos as well as mobokgraphics.com. You can check the link down in the description uh, where I'll be posting GIFs, I'll be posting um, uh, download files, I'll be posting all kinds of stuff. So anyways, guys, if you wanna download this, be sure to go to mobokgraphics.com, um, downloads free, and you'll be able to find this there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.